Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and this is day six of the 100 Day Project. And I have a project here that I'll be honest with you, I find these a little bit confusing to do. They're like these fold out, flip out things, and then you have to like get out your scoring board and do all this measuring, and that's just not my style. So I have broken it down to a way that I find easier to understand. And I think that you're going to find easier to understand. So, but I do love all of those like things where they fold and flip multiple different ways. So this is just kind of a, a hack to make it a little bit easier. So first thing you're going to do is take a long, narrow piece. Long and narrow. That's all. No measurements. I'll tell you, this is this is probably 12 by 5 or 6. I'll just do it. But all of these are going to be different sizes. They're all my relational measuring. Oh, look at that, 12 by 6. So we're going to go uh, make sure there's a gap in between here. But we're going to do a fold, and then we're going to do a fold. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave a good like centimeter, hopefully, in between there for our flippy flappy. So this is the first the first way. We're just gonna ink that out. No problems here. Okay, so we've got and this is a good project for double sided paper. That way you don't you're not covering, you know, having to have a base piece and then cover if if you you know where they do it where you're you have a base piece of solid piece of paper and then they have it where you you um, cover up each section with a piece of paper we're not going to do that so if you just think that you and you don't have double-sided paper just take a big two big pieces of paper glue them together and uh and then go from there that's the easiest way to do that okay so we've got this and now we're gonna add our so we got a flap here a flap here and we're gonna have two flaps on the side and we're just gonna hinge them that's what we're gonna do we're gonna hinge them I could use the same paper. Um, do I want to use the same paper? Um, sure. Why not? I'll get it back up. This is this Radiant Crafty Secrets. Um, well, that's kind of nice. Does that match? Kind of does match. Let's use that. I could have used this. This is from the Radiant Secrets. So, all right, we're just gonna square this thing up just meaning making our lines a little straighter and they are it's not perfect that's okay I'm gonna fold this in half and cut along the fold And then we're going to add them right to the to the outside here so it'll be like flip in like so that's all we're going to do we're going to take our washi tape we're not going to use this washi tape we're going to use a different washi tape mm -hmm. what are we going to use let's pull up washi tape It's kind of nice. I've got some blues in here, but no, we're dealing with pink and green, pink and green. So let's go pink and green. This stripe, let's go with one of those. I do have some solid ones in it. They're not very wide though, the solid ones. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with this stripey pink. Who knows how it will look. We'll find out in a minute. Actually, um, if you want rounded corners, you can do that too at this point. That would be easier. Pro 
probably. Nope, I want it to go this way. Yeah. And I'm just going to... I'm going to put this on. That's what I'm going to do. This is this makes more sense. I'm going to put this on half. And then I'm going to trim off that edge. And then it's perfectly perfect. And leave a little bit of a gap in between to give you a nice little hinge there. And then you can also put some on the back because you can. So I could have trimmed those both at the same time. I'll do that for this one. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna do washi tape on both sides. Nope, no we're not. Sometimes you think of an idea and you think that's a good idea. It isn't, it isn't a good idea. <laughs> that was not a good idea because I would have just taped the washi tape together. Uh, at least I figured it out before I, I did it. So there's that. You could even stagger these if you wanted to. I'm not going to, but you could. There we go. Do watch your tape on the other side. Little tiny scissors. Get my washi tape scraps out of the way. Uh -huh. Oops. There we go. Just pull that one over. Worked out well. This is bright colors. This is not my normal style, but it's double-sided paper. So I'm using it. I am going to do some corners. Yeah, I'm going to round the corners at this point. Corner rounder. Here we go. I just think that's better so you don't poke yourself when you're flipping and flapping and folding and all that <laughs> so there <laughs> Ooh, that one my hinge was a little snug gotta leave a gap in between them now is there a way i can keep these from flipping and flapping yeah i could put a little circle here like a circle punch circle do i have one of those maybe these are my circle labels but it'll probably work sure it'll work oh that's too thin where are we at oh i've got these these are really bright this light blue one. Oh my goodness bella she it says ugh we'll just cover that up I'm gonna have to go take care of some puppy business. She's got the moans and the groans. Well, the dog's pretty determined that I shall not craft today. We have a roast in the oven. So I'm pretty sure she just smells it and thinks we should eat that. Oh wait, she's gonna eat her dog food maybe. Wee! All right, so I want something in the middle of this. Do I have a smaller circle? A tiny circle. Oh, this is cute. Oh. Whoa, somebody, that sticker was cut way off, but that's what we're gonna do anyway. Okay, so how do I do this? I glue it on this side, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I put this down, make it all snug pants. Then we do that. 
what do we have? A flap that stays down and can be tucked. Yay! Still fighting it. Fight in the tuck. Okay. It's like a little... Ooh. So now, now what do we do? That's it. That was the base. Now you can add pockets and decoration and notebooks and whatever you want. But let's do another closure for this one. So we're going to need another circle. Any circles? I do have a bunch of these. I have another mm, green circle. This one says best. It's the best. Got a little washi tape. Yep. And every time I hear it eating, I have to like check back there to make sure the other dog isn't stealing it from her. Because that happens a lot. So we have to like watch her eat. Put and if she doesn't finish, then put it up on a shelf. <sighs> and then still every once in a while. The other sneaky dog, Miss Sneaky Pants, gets in there and eats it all. She's very sneaky. Oh, how about this? A little number. We're doing a number. I'll show it to you, I swear. See? A little number. Ooh. How cute. Okay. We're just doing circle closures today. And there. Ta-da. Okay, now what do we do with this thing? That was easy. Now, wasn't that an easy one? Yes, it was. Things can be easy, even if they're complicated. And we can do, we can do pockets. Oh my gosh, I just dumped on the circles right on the ground. That was like a slow, whoa. Okay, now what? We could do a little book page pocket over here. This is a great way to use your washi tape. If you want to keep your your pockets, uh, you know, to the edge and you don't want to glue them down, you can use washi tape and then you'll get that whole pocket. But, um, am I going to do it? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. This is a real, it, this used to be my really good circle or corner rounder. But lately, it's like the the really thin paper it doesn't like, the really thick one it doesn't like. It just doesn't know what to do anymore. It's very finicky. Okay. Yeah, I think I think gluing gluing's the way. And I, I have my circle punch out here so I didn't forget my my divot. And I almost did. There we go. Okay. Need another one of those. Oh, we got that one. <laughs> scissors. How many different scissors? I I always do that where I can't find any scissors. And then within a couple of days, then I find all the scissors. And then slowly can't find any of the scissors. It just rotates like that. Either all of them or none of them. Do you have that problem? I do. Oh, or not. Okay. Could have gone further on that. That's kind of crooked. I think I can do better than that, can't I? I can get this lady on here. Okay, so we'll bring it back to there. 
and then this can go all the way up here and then we're also gonna fold it so I bring it up match up these edges and that's how I know my line will be straight my fold line Put a little extra so I can get this big giant piece out of my way okay how did I want to do that this way I want to do it this way And fold it here, cut along the fold. There we go. And circle cutter. Yeah, you're not going to work with me today. Oh, you're going to get demoted. Divot. Time for the divot. Try to make it the same size as the other pocket. There we go. Aha, look at this. I did it upside down. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Nobody told me. They were like, <laughs> every time. That's all right. I can cover it up, put something right side up on, on that flap. It's no big deal. Or I can leave it upside down. Sometimes things are upside down. Usually not faces and people. I'll fix it. I just put this little tag right here. Remember when she was right right side up? Memories. Uh. <laughs> yep, she's grumbling at me again. Okay. Hmm. I got some French. I don't like enough. I could do a journal card. You know, I'm not going to do that. Do some writing space. I do have that index card. Oh, index card, index card. That could be a thing. I'm not going to leave it like that, but I could ink it. That's what we're going to do first. Hmm. That was my pretend inking where I'm not really inking because there's no actual ink on there. And then we're going to do, what do I have here? I've got some stamps. I've got this one. It's kind of a nice little pattern and we could do a color because we can. Maybe my favorite color. Pink. Victorian velvet. Yep, grumbling pants over there. Smells the roast beast. You just eat your dog food. It's saying right there. Just eat your dog food. It'll be good. You'll love it. It's so boring. <laughs> okay, I need my little ooh there we go and it's like a little writing space that's good all day long oh. Bella do you have to go outside no. Do you? Do you want? Do you want some roast beef? 
<laughs> oh my goodness, it's going to be a tough day today. So far, so cute. <laughs> That's my new phrase. So far, so cute. Okay, so let's see what I've done so far. I I, uh, I added this little notebook. It's just little pieces of paper and this little thing here. I did staple them together first before I glue them down. And now I'm just going to add a little, a little border to the top. This is the fun part. And I just kind of pause in between because it really takes me sometimes a long time to do this part where I figure out what goes where. <laughs> so, okay, so I've got this little pocket I'm going to put up here. And I've already put a little divot in there. So I'm just going to put my glue on and then... Actually, let me just do, I'm going to try putting the sticker on, see how this goes. So I've got the sticker, I'm going to put it right here, on there, and then I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to cut it right there. Now I'm going to finish gluing. And then I'm going to take that sticker and put it right back, matching it up. So now it does this really cool thing where you put the your little tag in and it covers it up. Surprise! Like that. So I like that trick. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and then we've got this on the inside. You can write here and you've got your pocket here and pockets here so pretty pretty fast actually put something pretty in the front what i don't know what's already got i could put painting oh that's actually really pretty The author, oh, the author, the artist of the kiss, and I, for some reason, am blanking on the painter's name at this particular moment. Um, I will think of it, but it doesn't matter. And something about that doesn't look quite right, but I like the size of that. Let me pull out the drawer. See if we can find another one that I possibly like. And the greens. Let me let me ink around it. See if I like it better. It's not bad. Maybe not quite right. We'll see. Something about those greens. It's pretty though. Should I just do it? Yeah. That is cute. Super cute. And up, we got this and that. Our little notebook. We've got this flippy flap. Two pockets on the inside. So there's tons going on with this one. Super fun. You can do this with book page. Um, I had some other ones. You can do, because of the size of this, um, because of the weight, I mean, you're measuring it. You could uh, do any different sizes. You can do tiny ones. So, yeah, I love this pattern, especially right there. So I'm going to do this and then leave a big gap. Match these two up. got this. I like that. 
I like that quite a bit. So I'm just going to do that on this one for my closure. Get that done right away. That's pretty. I do have these and I don't I don't really like them, but we can you can use the other side. So if you've got some of these high gloss ones, they usually have that on the back and they're kind of an open a blank slate is what I'm trying to say. They're a blank slate. I would ink this all day long. I would ink it. And then you open it up. And then you can just add two flip flaps. We're going to need some paper. And I think this paper actually goes. Yeah, it does go with that. It sure do. So. Do I want? I guess it doesn't make any difference. We just, it, they can't be wider than this width, right? That makes sense. Good to have them go all the way over, but then we won't be able to use our circle closure on it. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller on that one. But the other one, I could make it the full length. So I'm actually going to do it this way. So I'm gonna, so basically this flap is gonna be hinged on this side and this flap is gonna be na narrower. So it'll be like this. And then that'll leave room for my circle to circle closure. And we can pick some pretty blues or we've got this lovely gray. Let's do the gray just because we can oh that's still got a lot of silver paint on it nope 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 that's I'm still struggling with that silver paint I think yeah it goes this way or does it go this way it goes this way okay <laughs> And I want it to go like this. Okay. On the paper. Okay. And I'm really, I'm not going to decorate this one. I'm just kind of getting the base done so you can see it really can, can be done with any size. You don't need to limit yourself to, to um, a certain specific size. Is that the way? Not really. It goes this way. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Leave a little gap in between. I'll do it this way so I can check for my gap. Doesn't help you if I do stuff in my lap, right? You can't see it. This is a little awkward, so I'm just going to take those off there and then deal with them. Okay. Yeah, 
There we go. That way we're not getting that sticky edge. So because there's a gap, then there's a little bit of washi sticking through there. All right. Could use this one. That's so big. I feel like we can use a smaller circle. This one's nice because it's a little thicker. Hmm. And I dumped all my circles on the floor. But I have more circles. <laughs> I could just look on the floor. No, none of the right size. Maybe. No, that's not right. It's not thick enough. Okay. I've got, ooh, I've got this one. Oh my gosh, that probably goes with the set. Hmm. <laughs> but it's not very thick. Hmm. Which way should I do it? I really like this side. Oh my goodness. And it's not quite thick enough. I think I'm going to have to glue it to something. The other one was too thick. This one's not thick enough. You can do this. You're supposed to wait until your glue dries to punch and cut stuff. Remember? Remember? Remember when you were going to do that? No. Okay. Glue half. Less than, a little less than half. Make sure we got the right end. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Okay, that's it, that's all I'm gonna do. Just that one. So you can do any different size, any, I mean, any size that you want. And they're so fast and easy and there's no measuring. We love no measuring. Oh, these are nice. I'm super happy with these. So I hope you'll give this a try. I know I had paper out here, like I was going to make six of them, but that's ridiculous. They do take a long time to make. I mean, not a long time, but they do take some time. Um, about 30 minutes, because I did do whatever length this video is, is actual real time. I did do a little bit off camera with that notepad and some decorating decisions. But other than that, it was it, sh it should be actual real time. So that's good to know. So, uh, if you are interested in seeing more videos, you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified when there's more videos coming out. It's pretty great. I have a lot of playlists uh, where I categor categorize my videos into, categor into categories. So, if you're interested in seeing a certain type of video, like my Sorting Saturday or my, uh, I don't know, I do a lot of tutorials. I do some craft organization, but that's the Sorting Saturday, so that's all in the same video. If you're just a beginner, I have um, about 25 videos in my beginner series and quite a few other categories. So, uh, you know, check out playlists. If you're not sure how to find playlists, you just click on my channel and then there'll be a category at the top that says one says home, one says videos, one says playlist. You click on playlist and then you pick your category. It's super easy. Um, Anyway, if you have any questions about that, send me an email. My email is always in the description box. So I'm available to answer your questions. And when people email me, I always answer them back. So, you know, feel free to do that or ask a question in the comments. That would be great too. I always like to hear your different ideas, a different take on the way I've done it. So if you thought of something in this video where you were like, oh, you should have done this, let me know. I like, I, I love hearing other ideas. And... You know, as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.